everyone. Today I kind of want to tell you about my favorites. Now I know a lot of people do these videos and I thought, hey, why not? I'll do it too. So I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite products that I used during the month of August this year. Now the first one is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Now this is a small tube. They usually have these up by the cash register in Sephora and secret, it's actually a better deal to buy them in this size because if you buy two of these, you get more product for cheaper than one of the full size tubes that they sell in the store. I think they only have one or two colors though in this side. Unfortunately for me, it's one of one of the shades is mine. But um, I would definitely check this out. This has been a favorite of mine for a really long time. It works really well to moisturize your skin during the day, protect it from the sun. It has an SPF 20 and it just, I don't know, it feels really nice on your skin. It lasts all day and just provides the right amount of coverage if you're not needing something that has a real full coverage. And I really love that product. Another thing I really love that I tried this month is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and Highlighter. I went ahead and bought the color Light, which is probably about a shade um, too light for my skin tone normally, but I use it under my eyes to brighten that area and it doesn't crease. It seems to work really well and provide a good amount of coverage. And you can get this at any drugstore or Ulta and I've just really been liking it. Now another face item that's kind of a pre-favorite, I couldn't give you a full review, is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. And what I'm holding up here is a sample I got that came with a few different shades. And it had one that was pretty close to my skin tone, probably not the shade I would purchase. And I do hope to purchase this um, during September. But the one day I wore it, my skin just felt so soft. I thought the coverage was great. Um, it didn't break me out and it just felt really nice. All day I just kept touching my face thinking, wow, I really like this uh, foundation. And I don't wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. I always use the tinted moisturizers or BB creams. So I was really impressed with that foundation and hopefully in September I'll be able to um, give you guys a full review on it. So that's kind of like a pre-favorite. Now, another thing I'm loving this month, which if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen that I posted about it. It's a really great deal. It's this Smashbox eyeshadow quad, and it comes with four colors. This one is in their um, brown combination, but I think it would work on a variety of eye colors. And it's $10, it's online only, and hopefully you can tell that you get a lot of each color. And these are really nice colors that will help transition us into fall and also work really well for winter. So like I said, it's online only at Sephora. The last time I checked, it was still available. And this is a really great deal that I would pick up if you can. A few of my friends have, and I'm like, awesome, good idea. Another eyeshadow palette that I've really been loving this month is the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. And I know a lot of people bought this and love it as well, but I really would recommend it because it comes with a lot of really nice neutral shades, brown shimmery colors, as well as a few darker colors on the end if you want to create a nice smoky eye. And I think this um, eyeshadow palette is just really great year round, but the nice shimmery golds have been really nice for summer. And I've really been liking this palette. It comes with a um, eyeshadow brush, which I don't know where it is right now, but that's just a nice little something extra. And it does also come with a mini size of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So for around $50, I believe, I think this is a really good deal if you're looking to expand your eyeshadow collection. Another product that I've really been loving and I just recently bought is this Christian Dior Powder Shimmer Highlight in the color Amber Diamond. Now this is a more high-end product. I believe it was around $42, but it was something I decided to splurge on and I'm really glad I did. It comes in this nice soft velvet um, dark blue case and then inside is the really nice Dior packaging and when you open it up, it flips open and I'm not gonna show you because it'll reflect, but there's the mirror on the side, my hand's covering here and then the product up here. And it's just this really nice subtle highlight color that's really nice to use on your cheekbones. I'm wearing it right now. And you can also pick up some of these lighter colors and use them as a brow highlight. So I think this is really beautiful, um, versatile, and a nice item to splurge on if you wanna treat yourself to high-end product. Now, I've been a pretty loyal fan for the Dior Show Mascaras. 
over the last year in particular their ecstasy mascara but i recently got a sample from sephora of this makeup forever smoky lash mascara that's why it's so small and i actually really love this mascara so their um whole sample program works because i'm probably going to go out and buy a full size of this when i run out of the sample i just think it works really well to darken your lashes give them a lot more volume and really make them stand out it's what i'm wearing right now and i don't know if you can tell but it really made my lashes kind of show as really bold and i don't know i really like it so it's something that i would recommend checking out I actually used this mascara in the Khloe Kardashian tutorial that I filmed a little while ago and this is the look that I'm wearing right now. So if you want to see how to get this look, go ahead and click the link above and it will take you to that video. Now I have a couple lip products I've really been loving this month. One is another sample I got of a Makeup Forever product and it is their Lab Shine Gloss. So this is a small one because like I said it was a sample I got and it's in the color star collection which is a really nice shimmery light peachy color um, it doesn't give a lot of color to your lips but it's really nice and smooth and it smells really yummy I'm not a big fan of lip glosses like I'm not a huge fan of the MAC lip gloss because they're really thick and sticky and I just feel kind of like bleh when I wear them so I really do like this one though because it feels really smooth on your lips, not super sticky, and it seems to last a while. So again, I really like this color and this particular lip gloss. So when I run out of this sample, I wouldn't be surprised if I pick up another one. Now, another lip item I love, and I happen to have four of, are these um, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I started out with only two, but there was recently a really great kind of like extreme couponer sale at CVS drugstores. And if you follow my Facebook, which you should definitely do because I post these deals as I come across them, they had a really sweet deal where you basically could pick up up to, I think it was four of these for around $2.95 each. So follow my Facebook page if you want to get some sweet deals. But yeah, I really love these things. They kind of have a tingly feel on your lips and it's because they have peppermint oil in them, which I think smells really nice and feels kind of cool. And they also work really well. They moisturize your lips and give just a really pretty stain to them. I've used this pink one, which is the color Sweetheart, I believe in my Gwen Stacy video. Um, and I use, let's see, this orangey coral color Rendezvous in my summary look video. So I really love these. And then I just picked up these other two colors here, which are Smitten, and this is kind of a nice berry color, and then Honey, which I'm really loving. A lot of my friends and sister picked this up as well because it's one of those your lip color but better shades. So it doesn't bring a lot of color to your lips, but it just looks really nice. And I really love these, and I would definitely suggest picking them up when you get a chance. Now, my final two favorites for August are um, not really makeup products, but one is this Yes to Cucumbers Hyperallergenic Facial Palettes. Now, I use these to remove my makeup, and I think they work really well, even on mascara. Now, I will say, I don't use waterproof mascara because I don't like to really scrub at my eyes to remove it, um, which is something that you often have to do when you use waterproof mascara. But... For all intents and purposes, these work great. They smell really nicely and they clean your skin. It feels nice and fresh. They do smell like cucumbers, which I think smells really good. And I've been really happy with these. I believe I picked these up at a Walgreens, but I've seen them in CVS, Ulta, Target. So just check your local stores and I'm sure you'll find them. And my final favorite for August is this Moroccan Argan Oil here. This is from the brand Organics, and they have a lot of really nice, yummy smelling shampoos and conditioners as well. But I was um, looking for a new Moroccan type oil for my hair because my ends can get really dry and I like to use this when I flat iron or curl my hair is almost a nice heat protectant. And I was in Ulta and one of the girls working there recommended this to me and she said it's nice and light, it won't weigh down your hair. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I've been really happy with it. It smells really nice. Mm. And um, yeah, it's, it is nice and it, it is true to what she said. It doesn't weigh my hair down. Now, like any oil like this, you don't want to put it 
up by the roots and at the top of your um, hair, especially if you're prone to have oily hair. But I use it for maybe like my ear down is where I focus it. And it makes my hair really soft and shiny, it helps protect it from the heat. And it makes my hair smell really nice too. So I've been a really big fan of this product here. And I know they sell this at Ulta and I believe drugstores carry this brand too. So it'll just depend on if yours does or not, but I have seen it um, locally in Florida here. So this is definitely something I would recommend if you kind of have some dry ends on your hair and want to soften them up. So those are my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the products that I've mentioned in this video are products I bought on my own that I wanted to try out and test and I love them all. That's why I'm recommending them to you guys. And another thing, like I said, a lot of these really cool deals like the Smashbox eyeshadow quad, these um, kissable lip balm stains, when I find out that there's deals like this, I post them on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash blog, and I'm gonna put the link below. So definitely like me on Facebook, um, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, do all those things. I love to hear from you guys, and I will see you with more favorites next month. Bye.